step into the extraordinary world of one of the planet's most iconic figures in technology and philanthropy, Bill Gates. From pioneering the tech industry as the co-founder of Microsoft to becoming a renowned philanthropist, Gates' journey has been nothing short of remarkable. Join us as we uncover the opulent facets of his life, from his awe-inspiring mansion worth billions to his lavish hobbies and exclusive indulgences. Hello there, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will explore the wealthy lifestyle of Bill Gates. But before we proceed, please give this video a like and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Bill Gates is without a shadow of a doubt, one of the wealthiest people on the face of the earth. So, how does he exactly spend his billions and what makes him a billionaire? Naturally, he spreads his wealth among a number of different types of investments. Although it is not Bill Gates' only source of income, Microsoft is widely considered as the endeavor that rocketed Mr. Gates into the upper echelons of the world's richest categories. Microsoft was established in 1975 by Bill Gates and Paul Allen, and it has since grown into a multi-billion dollar industry juggernaut that dominates the technological landscape in the fields of cloud computing, internet technology, software software development, and mobile communications. To become the behemoth that it is now, the company has made tremendous strides forward, annihilating its competition along the way and overcoming early pressure for the business to be split up. As of August 2023, the multinational technology corporation has amassed a market valuation of over $2.4 trillion, making it the most powerful firm in the world. Surprisingly, the Microsoft Enterprise contributes only 12.5% of Bill Gates' total net worth at this point in time. According to reports, Microsoft has planned a slew of mergers and noteworthy acquisitions designed to cement the company's position at the top. To begin, there is LinkedIn, which is a well-known social website that caters to professionals. Based on the data from the website Alexa.com, this social stream that focuses on employment and business is the 27th fastest growing website in the world that can be found on the internet. In 2016, Microsoft completed the purchase of LinkedIn in a transaction that was believed to be worth $26.2 billion. LinkedIn, which has more than 590 million members registered, helps improve the productivity of many of Microsoft's platforms. Ultimately, it helps Microsoft bring in a sizable amount of additional revenue. For instance, in 2016, LinkedIn made $960 million from its talent solutions business, $109 million from its ads and marketing business and $162 million from its premium subscriptions business. Another example is Skype, a well-known video conferencing software that was established in 2003 by Nicholas Zenstrom and Junas Fries. At first, the platform functioned as an interface for file sharing. However, over time, it grew into a formidable tool for video conferencing. Its phenomenal expansion drew the attention of the developers working at Microsoft. And in 2011, Microsoft completed the purchase of Skype in a transaction with a value of $8.65 billion. Surprisingly, Skype had already crossed the $2 billion barrier in sales just two years after the acquisition. Since that time, not only the channel has expanded, but so has its rivals. Consequently, it is difficult to quantify the annual revenue it generates today. According to Crunchbase, Microsoft has completed the acquisition of more than 222 companies to this day. There is no question that Bill Gates has solidified his position as a well-known business leader as a direct result of Microsoft's expansion into a variety of markets. As an outcome of the enormous scale of his economic empire, it is anticipated that Bill Gates will cross the $1 trillion threshold by the time he is 86 years old. Bill Gates' real estate portfolio is just as lavish as his business empire. Bill Gates' official residence in Medina, Washington dates back to the Sanadu 2.0. The massive 66,000-square-foot mansion is currently worth $127 million. It took the richest guy in the world 7 years and $63 million to construct this massive mansion. Plus, he has paid $2 million on the land. It was time and effort well spent, as every inch of this luxurious house gleams with cutting-edge gadgetry. The state-of-the-art smart house boasts 7 bedrooms, a 60-foot swimming pool, 6 kitchens, and 24 bathrooms. In addition to a massive guest hall of 1,900 square feet and accommodating up to 200 guests. 
If you find these innovations impressive, wait till you see the cutting edge sensor system. Guests can reportedly adjust the temperature and the brightness of the rooms with the aid of this device. In addition, a room with a 20-foot ceiling can fit a trampoline in this hall. The home's estimated $80,000 in value comes from the many computer monitors located throughout it. There is also a huge library, a pool with an underwater music system, and a luxurious home cinema with 20 comfortable seats. Rancho Pasiana is another high-priced asset in Bill Gates' portfolio. This farm, formerly owned by Jenny Craig, was purchased by Bill Gates in 2014 for around $18 million. Unique elements abound throughout the site, as should be expected. There is also a racetrack, a workplace, an orchard, and five stables on the property. The structures on Rancho Pasiana are furnished with elegant equestrian furnishings fit for a wealthy tycoon. Bill Gates owns two horse farms. The Rancho Pasiana is in California while the other is in Florida. Mr. Gates spent $8.7 million in 2013 to purchase the farm adjacent to Rancho Pasiana. In order to encourage his equestrian-loving daughter Jennifer, Bill Gates purchased an equestrian property in Wellington. After William Buffalo Bill Cody sold the Wyoming ranch in 2009, Bill Gates purchased it. Nobody knows how much Gates spent on this house. Nonetheless, the home was previously advertised for $8.9 million. It appears that Bill Gates' affection for farming extends beyond his ownership of the Wyoming ranch. Approximately 4,500 acres of Florida land were reportedly purchased by the millionaire. Mr. Gates reportedly paid $28 million for the property through a Cascade subsidiary that shall remain nameless. The garage of this smart multimillionaire is a captivating display of old and new luxury automobiles. One thing that distinguishes Mr. Gates from other billionaires is the fact that his collection consists of only a select selection of the most costly supercars in the world. The Porsche 959 Coupe, which has a price tag of $400,000, is Bill Gates' preferred means of transportation. The Porsche is a unique model of automobile, and there are only about 230 of them in existence across the globe. Mr. Gates was involved in a legal conflict with the government due to the fact that Porsche 959 Coupe had not been subjected to any official crash tests. In the end, Bill Clinton was successful in getting a federal law approved that made it possible for Bill Gates to drive this premium car. In addition, Bill Gates is the owner of a modified Porsche 911 Carrera and a Porsche 930, both of which he purchased in the early days of Microsoft. In addition, among the items in his collection are automobiles such as the Ferrari 348, the Ford Focus, and the Jaguar XJ6. Not only does Bill Gates drive in a lavish manner, but he also owns and operates one of the most expensive private jets. The Microsoft Magnet is a proud owner of a Bombardier VD700 Global Express that cost $40 million. The private jet is comfortable seating for a total of 19 passengers. In addition to his opulent collections, Bill Gates is also a passionate art collector. He adorns his home with a number of high-priced works of art all around the place. The painting Sloss on the Grand Banks by Winslow Homer is valued at $36 million. Polo Crowd by George Bellows is valued at $28 million. The Nursery by William Merritt Chase is valued at $10 million. And Room of Flowers by Frederick Child Hassam is valued at $20 million. Even more impressive is the fact that the Leonardo da Vinci manuscript known as the Codex Leicester is kept in the 2100 square foot library that is part of his official residence. In 1994, Bill Gates purchased the work of art at an auction for the price of $30. Most importantly, he is a very generous person at heart. Bill is not only a corporate heavyweight but also a generous philanthropist. It is said that his generous nature as a philanthropist was the driving force behind his decision to step down as CEO of Microsoft and instead devote his time to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Bill Gates, Microsoft's co-founder, has donated billions to good causes throughout the world through the Gates Foundation, a non-profit organization he and his wife Melinda established in 1997. To date, the couple has given the foundation around $35 billion. A collaboration between the Gates Foundation and Australia's Queensland University of Technology Center for Tropical Crops and Biocommodities, Super Bananas has a budget of $10 million. Bananas are a staple meal in many African countries. However, they don't contain enough of certain minerals, especially vitamin A, to meet the needs of human energy intake on a regular basis. 
Aside from that, Gates is deeply committed to putting a stop to the worldwide spread of malaria. According to the billionaire, malaria is a forgotten epidemic and he has donated a total of $259.3 million to fund the research and development of a vaccine, new medications, and novel approaches to mosquito control. He supported a green energy initiative as well. A total of $35 million has been put into developing the Accuous Hybrid Ion Battery technology, with a significant portion of that coming from Bill Gates and other investors. Accion Energy, the business behind the initiative, argues that AHI will have beneficial effects and may aid in reducing the world's reliance on conventional energy sources and storage methods. Overall, Bill Gates' opulent lifestyle is not just a testament to his success in the tech world, but also a platform for his unwavering commitment to making the world a better place. Let's remember that true wealth is measured not just in financial terms, but in the positive impact we have on the lives of others. Tell us what you think in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. Once again, this is Luxury X and thank you for watching. See you on the next one.